Oh my god, my mic is muted. How the hell... How... Wow. Thank you, Anna. That's a good catch. I didn't even test that. Well, not like any of my commentary has been particularly interesting up to this point, so, uh, you know, whatever. It's all good. And we're moving on. So there's two treasures on this floor. And let's see, so that was two red flowers. Well, this is two white flowers. So if that also matches, nope. Oh, it was a good guess. Let's see, we've got two flags. Okay, you silly elves. One of you has to have a scroll. Ah, give me loot! Two flags. I doubt that is... Two out of three, you know? Oh, I saw you! Ah! I seen ya! I seen ya! The pine tree's cones are beginning to fall. First four fall, then six more. That makes ten in all. Great, you got it right. Here's your new clue word, round. Oh, to round. Okay, that explains the flowers. So now, it's a question of finding one more two round. That's a one round. Yes, thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. I didn't even mute my mic on purpose. Like, I think the switch just fell down. One of those things. Technical difficulties. Although, it definitely would have been fun to, you know, stream for an hour and a half. Nobody in here, and so nobody can tell me that my mic is muted, and then I don't notice, and I'm sitting on an hour and a half video uh, of just me flapping my lips. It happens. Bee bird moth. They are in some ways the same. Pick the one most like them, and I will give you a clue for the game. Lake, fly, cat. Well, let's see. Bees fly, birds fly, and moths fly. So, I would assume flies fly. Although, I have seen cats fly. Um, interesting tidbit about cats. If they drop from, uh, I think it's like six stories up or something, uh, they can open up and sort of go flying squirrel and just glide down safely. Admiral, hello, and welcome to the game. We are playing Treasure Mountain. Uh, if you don't know this game, this is an old 1990 classic from the Learning Company. I uh, grew up on these games, and uh, we're going to be streaming them all the time. Um, I am Dan. I run an educational uh, game development company, highly inspired by the Learning Company games, and um, you can check us out at lantanagames.com. Cat, clearly, this is the internet after all. I know, right? Like, cats, of course, can fly. Um, but, you know, I think I'm going to go with the correct answer, or the elf is going to laugh at me. So, we are going to say fly. Good job, Super Solver. You have won a clue word to help you find the key. Bushes. Two round bushes. Okay, so we're looking for one more treasure here. Uh, so that means we found uh, two round flowers. Searle. Gotcha. Well, you know what? It, it's good to not waste the uh, seven months calling somebody the wrong name. I've done that, though. Uh, it's always embarrassing when that happens, and you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Your name is, like... Bob, I thought your name was Phil. I hate when that happens. That is just the absolute worst situation you can end up in. Yes, it's great to meet you, Cyril. Um, you know, hope you follow. Uh, stop on by whenever. Uh, we'll be streaming all these games a lot. Um, we've got Learning Company. We've got Humongous. We've got Mech. Um, yeah, definitely uh, a lot of games to get through. Keep it to three, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely 
uh, be keeping it to um, uh, three days a week, yeah. Um, I, I, I think we're going to be cutting Thursdays, um, just because it is a lot of work to put on a talk show, and it's like, eh, I don't really know if we're feeling that. So it's looking like um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays is going to be me and Julia. Julia will be streaming on Tuesdays, um, doing her educational games. I'll be streaming on Wednesdays, doing mine, and then on Sundays, we host Storybook Sundays, where we open up Storybook Weaver Deluxe and write a story uh, with the Twitch community. Uh, we've done one of those so far, and it was actually pretty fun. So we're going to keep that up at least for a little while, uh, see if that gains any traction. <laughs> Trying to keep this usage down. Use all the emotes you want in this chat. I'm a big fan of emotes, so you go right ahead and use as many emotes as you feel are necessary uh, to make the chat more exciting. There's, there's no moderation from that on me. None of that. I've even told the bot to allow emotes, so <laughs> go right ahead. Once... You know what? Yeah, even if it gets abused, I'm probably just going to smile and laugh. Because I'm just that kind of guy. So what are we doing? We got one more treasure to find. Let's find that treasure. This kind of looks like two round. That's the key. Yeah, we found the key! That's a thing. So there's one more two round something. That's four triangular mushrooms. That's two triangular flags. Not climbing up the thing yet. I think we got that one. Yep. That's round bushes. Got it! Move on, we'll eat him, though. <laughs> Speak softly and people listen more. Uh, you know, it's true. I, I definitely try um, not to yell. You know, this is a family-friendly channel. We're a family-friendly game developer, playing family-friendly games, and, you know, um, being Bostonian, it is tough for me to control my language, uh, but I am going to be doing my best. Um, you know, I want to make sure that everybody is uh, welcome and safe and happy, and that everybody has a good time enjoying these old classic educational games. Um, you know, uh, for a few years there, I ran uh, the Boston Festival of Indie Games, and uh, one of our uh, biggest goals was to make sure that families felt safe and the kids felt safe. And we realized that the moment that you make sure kids feel safe, everybody feels safe. So um, that mentality has really stuck with me ever since then. And so, you know, running a community, be it uh, here or um, on our Steam community or uh, even for, you know, a, a festival event trade show uh, like Boston Fig, uh, you have to make sure that everybody uh, feels as safe as possible. So, you know, we've we've got Moobot running, obviously. Um, hopefully Moobot doesn't eat you alive, and if it does, I'll talk to Moobot, and we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, make sure you can get as many emotes rocking uh, as you want. Now, I saw an elf with a scroll, and it's you, and I caught you. 112, 113, 114, 113! No! Unfortunately, it would be 115. 0451. Your net has worn out. Find the net cave. Uh oh. I don't feel like going into the net cave. That sounds creepy. <laughs> Drop coins there to open the cave. When the cave is open, press up to fix your net. Cat jumped on my PC and hit the re- <laughs> See, I think the cat did that because the answer to the thing was not cat. The cat knows. Boston Festival of Indie Games last year was so long ago. Yeah, the crew for Boston Fig um, really did an outstanding job last year, I gotta say. Um, everybody from the marketing department through programming, um, just everybody 
really came together to put on a fantastic show last year. Um, I'm very excited to see what they do with it this year. Um, I stepped down uh, after last year's show um, for actually for health reasons, believe it or not. And um, since then, I've just been running Montana Games, and you know, it's actually a whole lot less stressful than uh, running the festival. But I am very glad you enjoyed it. You know, we we really went out of our way to make sure that we had good collection of games and uh, educational programming, and and making sure that uh, everybody, you know, was well fed and happy and. Um, you know, got to play a lot of games and meet a lot of people and just have a really, really good time. So, uh, yeah, it was just an unbelievable show, which is uh, great, you know, honestly, because it was the first time we charged money. So we really had no idea what the response would be for us going from a free show to a $10 show. And we had the exact same number of people uh, show up last year as we did the year before that. So, in my mind, that huge success. Um, that people were just that willing to go from a free event to a paid event. I, it's incredible. Hey, I do believe that that is Spencer. What's going on? But ban somebody? Ooh. Um, I'll go see what is going on there. I mean, I don't think Moobot has tell told me that's banned anybody. <laughs> Unless we don't mean on my channel. Because I'm looking at Moobot and I'm not seeing anything. That's very strange, because I told Moobot, uh, 140. Hmm. How is the little one? I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah. Good catch, Anna. Um, yeah, it said twenty. I don't I don't know how that happened. Um, but I just set it up to one forty, so length of a tweet is what everybody has for chat. I think that's fair. Um if you can't fit it in a tweet, um just let me know. I'm happy to bump that up to like two hundred. I am glad the little one is doing well, Spencer. That is fantastic news. Ride the water up. That's good advice for life, I think. Limit. Okay, let me let me check Moobot quick and um uh, make sure everything is okay. <laughs> now you said that Moobot won't tell me if somebody's banned? Is there a way that I can just unban everybody? <laughs> that would probably be the easiest way to go. Yeah, especially because of the delay, so you never quite, like, I don't know, there's, there's a disconnect. It almost feels like, um, you know how in the news, when somebody's like, we now go live to, you know, uh, what's her face? You, you know, what's going on out there? And then she's waiting around. 
like, yeah, it's a really bad situation out here. It's like, <laughs> you take it forever with the thing. It's kind of what uh, Twitch chat feels like, especially between like me talking and you guys typing. Weird times. Yeah, I thought that I had um, set the spam settings to um, max out at the length of a tweet, but somehow it was set to 20. Um, so that was my bad. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I have since gone in and fixed that, so hopefully we do not run into that issue in the future. If there's a way to um, unkick somebody, I will happily do that. And why is it not letting me catch this little elf with the... Oh, because my net's broken. I am a quarter of the way to Mars. It's called Boston. Boston is absolutely a quarter of the way to Mars. It should be somewhere to buy nets up here. Flying fish. There we go. See, I wish spending money was like this in real life. That you just throw your money down on the ground and then it poofs. And, uh... And that's pretty much it. <laughs> then you bought your thing. I can go five more, I think. Okay, so should I just turn the spam settings off? Am I just being paranoid about that? Alright, um, the length limit has been turned off for Leisha, um, so that, I think, should fix things. Sorry about this, I'm, um, you know, still feeling my way around about what's appropriate and uh, what, what people want to see from the stream and, and everything, so, you know, we're, we're feeling it out. Uh, Alright, I have nets, and you have a scroll. Can you find two baby birds way high up in the tree? Just look until you see a blank, and that is where they'll be. Uh, baby birds tend to be in a boat! No, they're in a nest. Great, you got it right. Here's your new clue word, six. Yes, Anna, tell me your settings and I will set them. <laughs> that, I think, sounds like an excellent idea. Mostly set, um... I have them mostly set to defaults right now. So, anything that, uh, you think will improve communication with the stream and help everybody feel safe. think will work best. Long messages. My paragraph setting is at 250. The rest you have looser than I do. Okay. So I will get that set to 250. But first, let's solve this problem. I use my ears to hear a bell. I use my blank to smell a smell. Well, 
That is a low effort poem on the learning company's behalf, but the answer is no's. Good job, Super Solver. You have won a clue word to help you find the key, and the answer is round. Excellent. Okay. So we'll make sure... Make sure uh, paragraph length is set to 250. Weird, I had this before. <laughs> hmm. In here somewhere. My god, where did it run off to? I just had it. This is entertaining. Oh, it's under advanced settings. 250. All right, paragraph setting is set to 250. So now, now we get to go back to having a little bit of fun. All right, so we're looking for anything that matches two or three out of six round berries. There we go. You are unbanned! Six round. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have one, two, three, four, five, six round flowers. Let's get us a treasure. It's a pig! We got a pig. I like pigs. Pigs make happy. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like six round berries to me. And that's the key. One, two, three, four, five round berries. Nope. Hello. Round berries. There we go. And we got the other treasure. Wait, so... Oh, are those not berries? Would those be like fruits? Perhaps. Hi, Relisha! Sorry about all the confusion. Um, spam settings were set to way more strict than I had intended. I am having a wonderful day, Relisha, and how are you today? I've been spending all day doing uh, game development and working on uh, Steam pages for our upcoming game, Mondrian Abstraction and Beauty, which is a, a full circle block breaker about video game art history. And you can find out a little bit more about that at our game development website, lantanagames.com. Um, Yes, Moobot is supposed to be coming up with messages, but there's not enough people in the chat for it to do it. So just let Moobot do what it do. Um, and if it keeps banning people uh, inappropriately, then I'm going to have a strict talking to with Moobot. Trust me. Help me make another word. Start with book. Take away the B. You get ook. Put a new letter in its place. Which letter should it be? You got look, mook, and duke. Now, I happen to know that mook is a word. A little insulting, but it is a word. However, we're going to go with look. Yes, that's right. Here's your new clue word, snowmen. Um, I don't know if I do... Um, no, I don't think I have commands yet. Um, 
I thought I set some up, but... Maybe it didn't take. I don't know. Probably not a good time to set any of that up, though, because... We're playing games, and uh, we're having fun. And, you know, there's a time to set up Moobot, and there's a time to play games, so I'll just make sure that... They don't understand context. No, they really don't. Um... Bots are silly creatures. Help me make another word. Start with cake, take away the C. Put a new letter in its place. Which should it be? Nake. Mm, not quite a word. Hake. That's... That's nothing. There's no hake. If hake was a word, what would hake be? You know what? That's worthy of a poll. What is the definition of hake? <laughs> ah! What is hake? All right, what are some uh, possible definitions of hake? Let's, you know, let, 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 let's get a, a, a three option poll for H-A-K-E. What is hake? What do you guys think? Good job, Super Solver. You have won a clue word to help you find the key. The answer is square. Let's watch the magic bag and brings it over to Twitch. <laughs> yes, we really could use Watson in this instance. Although, Watson would probably breeze through this game and take all the fun out of it. Yeah, let's make all the poll answers rhyme. You know what, I think that'll be a rule here. All polls have to be poems as well. That sounds like a good rule. So what is hake? A lie like a cake. Um... Could go with, um, uh, hmm, I don't know. You got cake, make, bake, lake. Oh, lake. Um, a day by the lake. And we can also say hate could be a painful backache. My poems have to rhyme. Besides, I think poems that rhyme uh, are more fun, uh, particularly on Twitch. I mean, we're, we're talking about Twitch poems here. Square Snowmen. Let's catch this guy. I tried to roll a square today, and this is what I found. A square won't really roll at all, because it isn't round. Sound as a pound. Yes, that's right. Here's your new clue word, too. Two square snowmen. Well, let's see. Here we have two snowmen. Well, that's a treasure. That's two round sleds, so that's no good. Two square snowmen, that's our key. Yay! And we've got three sleds, three square snowmen, that's a treasure. Got it. Open that up. All right, it's platforming time. We are in the castle. If memory serves, these start getting really, really tricky uh, toward the end of the game. Ooh, hey, look at that. Oh, let's take a risk. Oh, 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 oh that's evil. Yay, and we did it! Yay, 
Moobot did its thing! What are we voting for and why? I don't know. For funsies. We, we want to define Hake. The goal is to define the word Hake. And we're going to find out what it means um, by the end of the stream. Alright, so we got treasures. You found all six treasures on the mountain this time. Keep going, you will fill the treasure chest. Walk out the door to play again. Alright, so we got... A little, like, snowball there. Yes, and for anybody interested in checking out our games... Uh, we are an educational game developer in Boston, and uh, you can visit us at lantanagames.com. Uh, we are currently working on two games. Children of Liberty is a uh, kid's stealth adventure about Paul Revere's ride. Google is putting a little thing under it saying it may be hacked. Oh, that is... That is unfortunate, because I have a um, big security backend running there. So, I'll have to look into that uh, after the stream. I don't know how that happened. Um, oh, sorry about that. That's scary. There is a major security backend working on it, though. Um, and the security settings are up nice and high. So, I don't know... It's doing that. All right. Turn the links back on. There we go. Still feeling things out. Still feeling things out. Yeah. Mm. Oh, bot. Moobot being Moobot. I'll give it a strict talking to. Alright, let me see something. Oh. That is strange. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into that after the stream is over and uh, make sure everything is okay with my website. Weird. Uh, spam's gonna spam. Luckily, I can tell you that um, if it was hacked, it's probably just somebody dropped a spam page on there. 
Um, I don't know. In the meantime, what is likely to be <laughs> a little bit safer uh, for everybody to check out is, in case anybody is curious, we do have... We do currently have a game in uh, Steam Early Access, and so I can just drop the link to that, and that is uh, Children of Liberty, the um, kid stealth game that uh, is all about Paul Revere's ride. So feel free to check that out, and we're putting up another game soon called Mondrian Abstraction and Beauty, which is a um, full circle block breaking game all about video game art history, has a whole bunch of um, game art galleries in there. Um, tons of accessibility and gameplay options. Um, the entire game is dynamically generated with over 40 million possible combinations, so it uh, pretty much endless fun in that one. And we're really, really excited to get that out. Oh, and it has an awesome uh, like trip hop, jazzy soundtrack. So a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun to be had in that one. So we're, we're super excited to be getting that out real soon. That should be out by the end of September. Um, I'm, there's no like strict release date just yet, just because there's still a lot we have to do. But um, we're going to get it done. And it's, it's super close. It's at like 80% now. Let's go find treasures. As a one-star super solver, you can find two treasures on each level of the mountain. Look in places that match two of the three clue words. Okay, everybody here has scrolls. Give me a thing. Tell me, tell me, if you know which, which of these things does not grow. Well, rocks don't grow, but kittens do, and trees do. So, rocks do not. All right. We seem to be making uh, pretty good progress. And, um... I am... excited about this. We are moving along. Now, I saw elves with more scrolls somewhere. We're gonna find them. He, nope, he does not have a scroll. Shame that. He does not have a scroll. How am I on nets? Yeah, I'll refill. You have, an, you have a scroll. There were nine pine cones in a sugar pine tree. Then three fell off and they fell on me. How many pine cones were left in the tree? Well, he would probably see 12, but the answer is six. Great job, Super Solver. Your new clue word is square. One square. All right, well, that's two square. You don't have a scroll. That. That's one square. Ah, it's a toy truck. It might have been a toy train. Didn't get a good look at it. Definitely one of those, though. Either a toy truck or a toy train. You look like one square. Ah, it's a helicopter hat. Life is better with helicopter hats. Now, where is that elf with the last scroll? No 
know. That's gotta be the key. Yep. One square tree. Alright, let's just find that tree to climb up. Around here somewhere. I'm gonna ignore that little guy now that I have everything. There we go. How are we liking this music? Alright, you! There we go. Some of the elves built a snowman last week. It was cute, with its bright black eyes and orange nose. Then the sun came out, the air got warm, and the snowman melted. Yes, that's right. Here's your new clue word, too. You. Hit, hit, bit. I play this game sometimes. Kit, lit, sit. Please pick a word that rhymes. Pit. New word is square. Two square. Two square again. Two square somethings. Mine tunnel shortcut. Elf crossing. That looks like two square rocks. And that's the key! Alright. So now we just find... Square rocks, or... Two square... whatever. That's square rocks. Ice skates! That looks like two square fruits. And that is a, um... Look like a watering can? Not sure. Get this little guy. Which white, when, where? These words all start the same. Pick another word that starts that way to play the starting sound game. We got much vest and why. Well, the answer would be why. Keyword shovels. Relisha, the poll was for uh, the definition of hake, because um, it's not a word, and um, the game suggested an ache, A-K-E, with an H in front, and so I was like, well, let's, let's define hake, just for sillies. Um, but next poll, I'll see if I can make Moobot make it more specific. Um, interestingly, I had put in, like, you know, the, the question in the poll, like, you know, what is Hake? Uh, and then put in the answers, but then Moobot was like, vote! Without, you know, giving any context. So, Moobot! Moobot's gonna bot. Ah. <sighs> Ball big bike bird. These words all start with B. Do you see one more B word? Please pick it out for me. Careful with that treasure mountain. Careful with calling out like B word and F word and inappropriate. Square shovels. Oh, he has a thing. Let's just catch him. I had six coins and I gave away three. How many were left? Please do tell me. Three. Two square shovels. Well, we've got two shovels right here. And we've got a toy plane! That's three triangular shovels. That's no good. Uh, two round sleds. That's not the thing. Square shovels. That's a teddy bear. Ooh, what's in here? Oh! Right, that drops me down. I don't want that. 
Two square shuffles. Got the thing! I got the key! Oh, hey, I can jump! Awesome. Alright, here we go. Platforming time. That's no good. We're gonna go over. We're gonna go over again. There we go. And we got things. So while that's happening, El Mayo. How's it going? What would you like me to call you while talking? First Skiller? 95? How did that not save before? Oh, I'm just gonna turn that off. Who bought his botting tonight? Alright, so what have we got for treasure so far? We've got a teddy bear, a little ice cube, nothing in here, a lot of empty space to get through before we see our treasures. Why is it not giving me the treasures? Oh, I guess the prizes are different from the treasures? That's kind of sad. I want to keep all the treasures. Alrighty. Well, we've got 12 treasures. We need to hit 25 to reach the next level. As a one-star super solver, you can find two treasures in... Yeah, 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 yeah. When, want, was, were. These words all start the same. Pick one more word that starts that way to play the starting sound game. Well, many, or very. Well, well starts with a W, as do all the other words there, so I'm going to go with well. Bushes. Let's see what we can find. Does that go faster? No, nope. but I think I can... No, I can't do that infinitely. No smoking, please. One is one, and two is two. Don't go away, I have more for you. Three is three, and four is four. The <laughs> new clue word is two. Two bushes. I'm thinking of something. It can grow very big. It has a trunk, but it's not an elephant. What is it? Well... Cars have trunks. Trees have trunks. It can grow very big, so that's the key there. Cars do not grow, but we're going to go with a tree. Two small bushes. And I need nets. I have lots of coinage, so I'm going to get some nets. Grab them. That's fine. Two small bushes. Alright, so we're looking for anything that's too small. Those kind of look like two small mushrooms, but nope. They're not that small. That's two small bushes, so that would be our key. That's three big flowers. Two small flags. That's a balloon. Hmm. Two small somethings. Two 
small somethings. Are those two small flowers? They are, and we got a flower pot. That's pretty. All right, time to climb a tree and head to level two. You know, one of the things uh, that I'm glad about is that in later iterations of the Treasure series, they wrote a whole lot more music. Alright, here we go! We're looking for elves with scrolls. What do we got? Tall, taller, tallest. Small, smaller. Smelly! No, smallest. Flowers. Oh, guy. There we go. Let's play the guessing game. Summertime is not for me. I like it chilly as can be. I stay outside all night and day. If it's too warm, I'll melt away. What am I? Well, you're not a snowplow. Those snowplows do not melt. And you're not a pine tree. They don't care about the weather, but they also do not melt. So I'm going to go with a snowman. New clue word is small. Small flowers. Those flowers look pretty big to me. Hmm. Small flowers, you say. But how many small flowers? That's the question. I'm telling you, those flowers are gigantic. Or are those the big flowers and these are technically the small flowers? Well, that was a treasure. And that was a treasure. So I wonder if that other one actually was the one we're looking for. In which case, I'm too dumb to play these educational games. I'm telling you though, those flowers look big. Grab him. This, that, these, those. These words all start the same. Pick one more word that starts that way to play the starting sound game. Uh, it's a TH, so we're gonna go with them. Seven. Seven small flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What up? And there's our key. I wish it gave me some indication of where the thing is. This should be the geyser, I believe. It should be around here somewhere. There we go. And we're going up! Whee! Alright, so before I continue, uh, once again, hello to everybody in the chat. I think we have a couple new people who joined us. Um, so, uh, I'm Dan. I'm one of the founders of Lantana Games. We are an educational game developer in the Boston area. We're currently working on uh, two games, Children of Liberty, which is an early access game about Paul Revere's ride, and uh, Mondrian Abstraction and Beauty, which is a 360-degree block-breaking game about video game art history. Uh, you can check us out at lantanagames.com, though apparently I need to go look at the security back end and see what's going on there, or tell Google, hey, our site is fine! Um, hopefully the latter. Because uh, that's troublesome. I saw an elf cleaning two fish. Her mother had seven more fish in a dish. How many fish in all? Uh, two plus seven equals nine. Great job, Super Solver. Here's a new clue word, three. Three something. Well, those are three small shovels. I have a lot of coins, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and get a treasure. 
So it's either three small or three shovels. Small shovels. Nothing. No. Nope. Oh, you, though. I saw five little green frogs, then two jumped away. Now I see blank green frogs. I hope the rest will stay. Well, that leaves us with three. You got it right. Here's a new clue word, big. Three big, oh, three big shovels. And then there should be a three big something. Oh, how did that not work? I'm disappointed in myself for not making that jump. Oh, here's big shovels. Make it! Yes! I did it! I did the jump! Alright, I've got all the treasures, and I've got the key. It's time for platforming. Woo! Uh-oh. Which way? I'm gonna try this way. No, I failed. We're gonna go back. There we go. We got treasure! We got the hat. We got the drums. We got a little train. We got a skateboard. We got a balloon. And we got a flower pot. Morty Maxwell is not happy about that. Oh, and I get the hat! That's fun. Ugh. I'm still short, and... Oh my god. And it's not going to hit 24 when I finish this. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. Well, you know what, folks? I've been streaming for about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm getting hungry. Mm. I might be able to make it one more time up the mountain. I don't know. Well, let's go one more time up the mountain. Couldn't hurt. Free fry from friend. These words all start the same. Pick one more word with the same sounds at the start to play the starting sound game. I think that would be freeze. Big. Looking for something that's big. Something big. What do we got that's big? That's a big bush. I did not just say that. I had three coins in my small brown sack. I put them with six other coins in my pack. Then how many coins did I have in my pack? Three plus six is nine. One big. Now, like I said, that's one big bush. I'm not gonna capture that last elf because I'm not having it say one big bush on the screen. need nets, though. And I have a lot of coins to spend. I'm gonna load up on nets. Bush or one bush. Hmm. 
I feel like I'm walking right by it. That's the one big bush. Oh. One bush. That's a duck. We got a duck. That a big tree? big flowers. None of that matches. One big tree. Got it. That's everything. I'm in the mountain. You know, as a kid, in playing Treasure Mountain and Math Storm so much, I was always a little disappointed that mountains in real life don't tend to have magical ladders that appear on trees and, you know, actually climbing a mountain requires you to climb the mountain, not climb ladders that somebody put on the mountain. I don't know. Kind of, uh, false impressions. Pan and cake is pancake. Star and fish is starfish. Rain and bow is rainbow. Pine and cone is pine cone. Pine cake does not sound appealing. I cannot see over the wall because I am not very tall. Big berries. You look like big berries. Nope. Are those big berries? Yes. Alright, the blueberries are the big berries. You look like big berries. That's the key. guy back here. Gotcha. Tell me, tell me, don't be shy. Which of these things does not fly? A mouse. Five. Five big berries. Five big. That's four. That's four rocks, so that doesn't... That doesn't do the trick. Two, three, four, five. I think that was the one we got, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the key. One, two, three, four, five, six big flowers. Does not cut it. Flying fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five big pine cones, maybe? Nope. Oh, wait, that's five berries. Got it. I'm gonna see if I can take the shortcut. Should be it. Yep. Taking the flying fish up. Red Rid Rod Road. These words all start with R. Do you see one more R word? Pick it and be a star. Rock. Big. Oh, I see you. I am older than all the other elves. I am the oldest elf. Five big. All right. Five big somethings. Five big somethings. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. That looks like five big snowballs to me. And that's our key. But I am not leaving. I am not leaving without the treasures. You will be mine, treasures. 
I think that would count as five snowballs. And those look like big snowballs to me. Got him. Make the jump! Yes! That jump is tougher than it looks. Alright, let's hand these treasures in, and I think that's gonna be a stream. Alright, so far it's been this side every time. Keeping my fingers crossed here. Yep. Done it. Look at all the pretty treasures. Good stuff. And we got the paddle. We've fallen, we've fallen, we've fallen, and we've landed. All right. Great job, you found all six treasures on the mountain this time. Well, I think that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Uh, we'll hit level two next time. Um, I'll be streaming this particular game again on uh, next Wednesday, I believe. Possibly next Tuesday. Um, so in the meantime, thank you all for coming out, and um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Um, you know, if you haven't followed, uh, make sure to follow, and um, uh, next time we will definitely be doing uh, some giveaways. Um, uh, for Children of Liberty, possibly for Mondrian, uh, possibly some other games that I have sitting in my Steam library, and uh, let's just keep having fun, keep playing educational games, and uh, getting smart and staying happy. Alright guys, take it easy, uh, had a lot of fun, and I will see you next